In this drawing, we're going to have a look at creating solar panels to go on our roof. And we're going to do this by creating a new family as a roof based object. So we'll open up a family or create a new family, sorry. And then when it brings up the list of family types, scroll down. Now we've got generic model roof based. So the panels will then attach themselves to the roof regardless of the angle of the roof. Okay, we have a front and right elevation views and so forth, and we've got our upper reference level by here. So I'm going to create a new extrusion. Okay, now my solar panel is going to be two meters by one meters. go and I want to offset that by five millimeters inwards because this is the exterior frame of my solar panel there we go and let's use the trim command to tidy up those corners Okay, now let's look at the material. We've got by category at the moment. I don't want it by category. Now, it may not bring up many materials to start with, so we'll click on the home option by here and go into this materials folder. And then we can actually find what we want. And I'm going to look for aluminium. There we go. And I'll press the little arrow to load it into this family and say, okay. So now we've got aluminium as the material. Okay, big green tick. And now we want to position it. So I'll just change that to 1000 to center it. Likewise here, change that to 500. So now it's centered on the axis. Okay, so that's the aluminium frame. And you'll notice here we've got the extrusion start and end. Now, for now, I'm just going to leave the extrusion start at zero and change the end to 40. OK. And if we just quickly have a look at an elevation, we'll have to just zoom in and find it. There we go. We can see that the frame of the panel we've created is here and this other object represents the actual roof construction but we're just going to leave it flat by there for now okay so we can see extrusion start zero extrusion end 40. let's go back to our upper level we now want to create another extrusion and this one is for the actual panel itself. So I'm just going to come on the inside of the frame. Oh, let's swap to the rectangle command and make it a bit easier. There we go. Right. And this one, the extrusion start and end. Well, the extrusion start, we're going to have at 40. And the extrusion end, oh, sorry, that would be 35, we'll say, and make that one 40. All right. And the material for this one, well, we don't want aluminium. Now, we want the solar panel, but there may not be a solar panel one because it's not in the standard program. So if you haven't created one before, we'll just quickly do that now. Create a new material. OK, we'll change the standard color of it to a sort of bluish. Uh, there we go, something like that. We will then click on this and find an image. So I'll go to my computer pictures and I have got a solar panel picture, which I found by doing a Google search. OK, here is a section of the image 
So now we want to just check the size of the image. Well, it's not a 300 millimeter square. I'm going to say that it's um, about Six, eight, nine, four hundred, and oh, let's unlink those so I can make it taller because the one I found was not a square, and I'll say it's about eight hundred, nine hundred, go on, nine hundred. Uh, wrong way round. Should have been 400 by 900. Okay. Done. All right. And then if you want to, you can add a little bit of reflectivity to it or so, so forth. Obviously, it's not going to be transparent. Um, have a little look on the graphics if we want to change these to a bluish color as well. So that, sorry, there's no surface pattern on there. We'll just leave. Oh, I could do that as a cross hatch. There we go. Go for a, a white. And then the background. Oh, we'll go for the blues. There we go. Keep it open. All right. All right. Big green tick. There we go. So we now have our solar panel. Let's save that as a project, as a save as family. Have a folder set up somewhere. Oop, back up one. There's my Revit content folder. So there's a timber fence I've done before and now a solar panel. And this is um, purely for my Revit family's save. There we go. OK. Now we can look at loading this into a project. But just a point to bear in mind is that the actual panel we've created here, look, is set on the base of the roof construction. And we'll have to edit it to accommodate that roof construction when we load it into a project. So we'll load it in. OK. So I've now loaded this into here. And we want to architecture and component solar panel off our little menu by there. And we can see it locks onto the roof. But as I said, it's actually setting itself in there. So I just dropped that in for a minute. I will take a measurement of our roof. And we can see it's just put it in there. So. 235. Okay, let's highlight our solar panel. Let's go into edit family. And now we want to click on there. Instead of start at zero, end at that, we want 235 by there and add that, make it 275. So it's moved it up there. Then this one is going to be 275 and 270. And apply. OK. So we've now got that in the correct position. And we just load it back into the project and overwrite. And now we can see it's appeared up by here. So let's have a little look at our 3D view. Going a little slow this morning. Okay, 
So let's swap that off the realistic view for a second, just to make it a little bit faster. We can now see our solar panel is by there, not quite where we want it, but we can move that across without any trouble. So we'll now go across to our south elevation and move the panel. I'll move it across one metre. Okay. And let's say we want a few of these solar panels. Copy them or array them even. We will have four of them and we will move them across 1025 or we could actually change that to 6 while we're at it there we go and there's our solar panels so let's now have a little look back at the 3D view and we will then change it to back to realistic just to have a final little look at it. And there they are. So that's our solar panels created.